Growing up in the 80s and 90s, even in the early 2000s, malls, movie theaters, and bowling alleys were the place to be. No one grew up within 50 miles of the Logan Valley Mall and didn't get excited when their parents told them that they were going to the mall that day. It was definitely the place to go. It was the type of place that you could hang out all day and see all of your friends and classmates. It was where you shopped, ate, and went on a date. It had everything you needed from arcades to movie theaters. Parents would drop off their kids in the morning before work and use it as a daycare. Those sure were the glory days, and it's sad to know that kids today are dating in chat rooms. It is what it is, I guess. I wanted to wait as long as possible to document this mall because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it this way. I usually wait till it's in an abandoned state, but I will make an exception only because I do not believe it will be abandoned. I'm not going to walk through in detail and give you another dead mall video like many copycats out there are trying to recreate. As you know, that's not my style anyway. That being said, shout out to Dan Bell and his dead mall series. Anyway, as usual, let's get into some history on this place and take a look at it as the way I saw it when I was a kid. After 31 years, Chronix Jewelers is closing the doors to their Logan Valley Mall store forever. Now, all diamonds, gemstones, gold, select watches, crystal, and fine gifts are reduced up to 50% off. Everything must go, including all fixtures, even the vaults. Financing is available for this rare opportunity to save on diamond engagement rings, diamond jewelry, gemstone jewelry, and much more. Hurry and save up to 50% before Chronix Jewelers in the Logan Valley Mall will close their doors forever. According to Wikipedia, Logan Valley Mall opened in November 1965 as an open-air shopping center with Sears and a few other small shops. In 1966, J.C. Penney was constructed, and the mall was enclosed for a grand opening on June 8, 1967. In 1979, another expansion was completed by Crown American with the construction of Hess's department store. On December 16, 1994, a fire broke out and destroyed nearly half of the mall. A three-phase plan was immediately laid out. The first phase, beginning in 1995, started with a new store, Kaufman's, which was added to the far end of the mall to replace Hess's. The already built, undamaged two-story portion of the mall was renovated, and these renovations included changeovers, such as rebranding of wall-to-wall -wall sound and video to The Wall and temporary relocation of restaurants such as Wong's Walk. Another Phase 1 project was the construction of a new two-story section to replace the portion damaged by fire. Phase 2 consisted of opening a new three-story parking garage and a new eight-screen Carmike Cinema. Phase 3 was completed in 1997 and included the openings of a new larger J.C. Penney location closer to Sears. Following this opening, a new food court opened in the renovated second floor of the former J.C. Penney store, which allowed for more stores in the old two-story section. PA Real Estate Investment Trust acquired the mall in 2003 as part of its merger with Crown America. The May Department Stores Company, which owned Kaufman's, was sold to Federated Department Stores in 2005. Federated proceeded to convert various May properties to Macy's, including the Logan Valley Mall store. In 2017, the Carmike Cinema was rebranded Mason Asset Management and Namder Realty Group. On December 28, 2018, it was announced that the mall's Sears would be closing as part of a plan to close 80 stores nationwide. The store closed on March 3, 2019. Sears was the first anchor to go in this mall and the Kmart across the street as well and you know typically when one anchor goes it's usually replaced by like a Ross or you know I don't know I mean there's a number of things that could replace it but in this case there's nothing yet and that's the way it's been for the past two years.
It's really hard to believe that this place used to be packed wall to wall with people on any given day. Um, you walk through here today and it's the only people that are here are, you know, the elderly people that are walking to get exercise. There are definitely more stores closed than open and the ones that are open, there's, you know, signs on many of them that say, you know, closing sale and you know, 75% off <laughs> because they're, they're, they're closing down. That was the old chronics there. This entire wing was closed. It was just completely shut down. And there is the outside of Sears from the inside of the mall. second floor of this place used to be awesome I mean that's where all my favorite stores were uh, it's crazy Yankee Candles still there you know they've been there in that spot for a very long time for as long as I can remember uh, as you can see when all else fails the National Guard can set up and you know tilt action studio you know that's pretty crazy that they put that huge arcade in there and it's really nice and i would have loved to have had this in here when i was a kid but i don't think anyone uses it i mean i've never seen anyone in there to be honest but then again i'm not here every day but it just seems to me like it's it's like beating a dead horse you know people are trying to open new businesses in here but ultimately it's you know I don't think there's much hope. Macy's is where the old Kaufman's used to be located. And Macy's is definitely, you know, it's, it's, oh, I don't know, JC is just as big of an anchor, but rumor has it that, you know, Macy's is on his way out as well. I mean, as you can see, it's like empty in a lot of spots. There's not much going on. And, uh, also it's, you know, there, there wasn't a single person in here and this wasn't, you know, at eight o'clock in the morning. Well, the mall wouldn't have even been open anyway, but it, it wasn't, when the mall first opened or anything this is midday you know on a friday <laughs> so it's uh i guess a lot of people could be at work but i mean i don't even see uh, there, there wasn't one person i walked through the entire store there we go everything must go there's a lot of those I mean, as far as architecture goes, I love this mall. I mean, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous building. You know, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's kind of depressing because, you know, they, they tried and it, it is, it is nice. Like everything's set up nice in here and, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's sad to know that there's not going to be, you know, a mall anymore. <laughs> it's kind of... I would have never thought in my lifetime. JC Penney's, it was the same, you know, deal. There was nothing. There was nobody. I think there might have been one person in the store when I was here and 
I can't remember if it was an employee or a customer, <laughs> but uh, maybe we'll catch a glimpse. I don't, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't think, like, there was no one at the mall. I, I felt like I was the only one there. I did see people, but like I said, there were, there were a few senior citizens walking for exercise, and that was, that was it. I don't think anyone was there shopping. So I can't imagine this. You know, I don't, I don't know how they're paying the rent. All right, going on to the AMC Theater, uh, former, formerly the Carmike, and you know I've I've seen a million movies in this place. I remember when it was built, when after the mall burned down, and it was it was like amazing that you know it, it was pretty neat inside. It was just very new compared to the Park Hills across the street. on top of the parking garage and I felt like I had to go into the stairwell as well because it is so foul and disgusting in these stairwells I mean people just like you know go to the bathroom in there <laughs> however you want to take it it's disgusting and it smells like it. it smells like urine but you know it is what it is So there's not this mall you'll never see it abandoned and you know explored in a desolate state it will continue to be structurally maintained because it is being bought over by uh, Penn Highlands Community College uh, a lot of it anyway I don't know there's there's always I'm sure there's still going to be a few eateries because you know, people need to eat no matter what businesses are in there. So I'm sure a few of those will hang around. But as far as it being anything like it was in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and two, early 2000s as well, I mean, it was still popping back then. But it will never be what it was. It will never be a shopping mall ever again. And, you know, it's kind of sad to think that. But at the same time, it's not going to waste. It's not going to sit here abandoned and, uh, you know, rot for 20 to 30 years. So at least that isn't the case. But thank you for watching. And as I said, you know, though this isn't an abandoned location, I felt the need to document it because while there are still two or three places to shop in this mall, I want to document it the way it was. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. Check it out, man. I mean, this merch is like really sick. Check me out, bro.